Starting off, you know that I love sports, Brooke. Yeah, I know. And I, but I just might not be as smart when it comes to sports trivia as I thought I was. I know, and it, look, okay, I know. I see where you're placing the blame, and it's on me. It is. I'm I the think game it was show the questions host. that she asked me. But listen, it was definitely the producers. I mean, there may have been, you know, kind of an unfair advantage for the other contestants because all of your questions were about sports pre-1940. Um, and it, it says nothing about how old I think you are, Terry, I swear. Mm -hmm, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. <laughs> but we did have some other good guests on as well yes. who, are, who are very smart when yes. it comes to sports. We invited evening, uh, former evening host Michael King and former Mariner player, of course, turned color commentary, Ryan Roland Smith. All right, you sports nuts, I came with pom-poms because I'm cheering you all on in this. Don't let me down. Yes. You'll each get a question directed towards you, and you'll have five to eight seconds to answer it. All right, we're going to start with Michael King. What is the nickname of Olympic sprinter Florence Griffith Joyner? Not J-Lo, Flo Jo. Yeah, the original Jo, right? That's right. There we go, point for Michael. And her Michael. fingernails. Remember those fingernails? Oh, yeah. And the, the outfit. Really long fingernails. The one-legged outfit. That's right. All right, Terry, you're up next. This is a very simple question. How big is a baseball? It's about this big. Yeah. Like, is there uh, a, there's a real life measurement? There is. There is a real life measurement, and you would like to know it's nine to nine and a quarter inches in circumference. Who would know that? Who would know that? Ryan, Ryan would know that. that. Or 5.1, maybe five ounces, something like that. There we go. You want to point, please? <laughs> Did, do you know how big it was, Ryan? No Did you know that? Maybe we'll no it. idea. <laughs> I seriously had no idea. I know how many of baseball. There you go. Yeah. All right, Ryan, you're up. Raging oh, okay. Bull, the classic 1980 movie, is about which real life boxer? Ooh. Hi. Can I answer, Brett? I got, I got it. I got it. Oh, no? You know Time uh, uh, it, uh, time's up on me. Okay, Michael, will you answer and give your it. point to Ryan as a pity point? I will. Jake Lamada. You're right! Look at that! Yeah. yeah! Robert De Niro, you mean, right? No, Jake Lamada. Oh, yeah, Robert De Niro. Yeah. I get it. He plays Jake. Thank right? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. I'm not good with sports jokes, you guys. <laughs> talking to the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whose turn is it now? We're back to, now we're up to Michael King again. Yeah, that's right. Okay, at the 1976 Olympic Games in Montreal, gymnast Nadia Komanech. Komanech. What is it? I actually Komenech. interviewed Nadia once. Her, she, I asked her how to say it. She said, Komanech. Komanech. There we go. Says, Nadia Komanech became the she, first I believe her. gymnast to score a perfect 10. What country was she represented? Romania. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that would have been really messed up if you got that wrong. Oh my God, right. Michael, you're doing good. You say he's cheating, Terry. Come on. He interviewed her, so that's cheating. I, okay. I, I did interview. That's true. I don't think she's you're lovely, by the way. For this interview, Terry. Terry, here we go. Rocky Balboa overcomes what personal hurdle in Rocky Two? Mm. Hey, Rocky Two. Rocky yeah. Two. Personal, personal hurdle. Um. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. He um he had a he, Rocky's all about overcoming obstacles. Yes. But he, he, Apollo Creed. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've never seen a personal accomplishment. No, it was illiteracy. <laughs> that's that's a speech impediment. He couldn't speak. <laughs> Yeah, it can kind of lead to a speech impediment, I you guess. You know, you're, you're good at twisting this, and I like that about you, Terry, but I don't think you're going to get a point for that. <laughs> all right, Ryan, you've got that pity point, and I think this is going to be an easy one for you. Please. All right? Who has won more tennis Grand Slam titles, Venus Williams or Serena Williams? Oh, come on, Serena Williams. Ah, there it is. Yes, I'm on the board, officially. No asterisk. I like kind it. of a T-ball question I gave you, but that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. There's a big green green line through that question. Just give me an easy one. I appreciate right. it. Thank yeah. you. I if they have a sibling rivalry. Like, if that's tough when they talk about that yeah. in a household, like, who's got oh, more grand sure. slam? Serena says, well, of course. It must be. Yeah. Okay, I just got word from the producers. You're ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, Ryan is. Yeah, he's a, Ryan's ahead. Oh, oh so gosh. they gave me that last one. Yeah, nice. they did. This is good. Yeah. Yep, you're ahead. Come back more often. 
Okay, so that, gave him that, that point. Am I, am I right? I'm getting confirmation from the producers because they don't yeah. trust me counting very well for good reason. Yes, yes. Ryan is ahead. He has taken the lead. I'm stepping the jump. He may oh, leave this with the trophy. There are only three questions left. One for Michael, one for Terry, one for Ryan. We're going to go with Michael. Brian's song is about which two Chicago Bears? Brian Piccolo and Gail Sayers. <laughs> Let's see what Terry and Ryan can do. Ask me something about 1812. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Terry's going to use ancient history questions oh, coming up. Here we go. There's no way you can win this, Terry, but it's fine. Uh, you know, I love your positive attitude, and that's what, what we're here for. What, what team has the longest winning streak in the NBA history? Shaka Khan. What team, Terry? <laughs> I'm just saying anything at this point. I don't even care. <laughs> The Gold State Warriors. The L.A. Lakers. <laughs> Almost. Right State. Oh, charity boy. I'm done. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. You weren't cheated, but it's fine. All right. <laughs> Ryan, last question. This could clench the title for you. Soccer is the world's most popular spectator sport. Which is the second most popular? So he has to, if he gets this, he wins. If he doesn't, I win. Correct. Okay. If he gets it, he wins by half a point. And ah. he's a worldly man. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say American football. Are you sure you want to say that? Tennis, tennis. Are you sure you want to say that? Uh, one of the above. I'm, I'm going to stick with American football. How about that? All right. Well, I would like to congratulate Michael King because that's oh. wrong, sir. <laughs> That's disgraceful. Yeah. It's disgraceful. Cricket, really? You, you're never going to be invited back. Oh, should I should have a cricket. Oh, I'm a rugby yeah. jersey. Cricket. Oh, whatever. I covered you're cricket once when I used to work in Hong Kong, and I used to be a sportscaster there, and I tried to cover cricket. I had to have other people write my scripts. I do not understand that game. <laughs> what a humble winner he is. He's trying to make you feel better. I want a do-over. I want a do-over. That was not fair. <laughs> you were so competitive. Because oh, my gosh. OK, OK, how about this? I'll give you a redemption question. Okay, I'm with that. Are you ready? I'm with it. Okay, you better get this right. All right, let's go. This Husky football coach was known as the dog father. Oh, that's the one and only. He he recruited me out of high school, Don James. Oh, that's good. Yes. Terry, see, you get an air Thank five you. for that. Woo. There you go, socially distanced air five. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Okay, listen. Yes. You know that I love football. Yes. 